Hello. Well, this is all about these. Now, these are like the mystery calculator, I think they're called. And they're a common uh, gift in, like, Christmas crackers in the UK. I don't know if they're available elsewhere in the world. If you've not seen the mystery calculator before, they look a little bit like this. So the basic idea is that you ask a friend to pick a number between 1 and 63 inclusive, but you say, uh, don't tell me what the number is, and I'll try and read your mind to tell you what it is. So, you just say, tell me which cards your number appears on. So let's say my friend had picked the number 27. So I can see that 27 is on this card, this card, not on this card, it's on this card, this card, but not on this card. So we'll put that one to one side, we'll put this one to one side. So to guess what my friend had picked, our little trick is to add up the numbers in the top corner. So that's 8, 2 makes 10, add 1 is 11, add 16 makes 27. So we've correctly guessed that my friend had picked the number 27. This works for any of the numbers between 1 and 63. Right, now we've seen what they do, how do they work? Well, it's all to do with maths, and specifically binary addition. So addition of binary numbers. If you've not seen binary before, I'll just go through a little bit first, and then I'll tell you how the cards work. So, in normal decimal numbers, we have the digits 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. That's in decimal. So, binary, well, that's base 2, so we actually only have two possible digits, a 0 or a 1. So, when you construct a number like 329 in decimal, what you're saying is there's 9 units, these are 10s, and these are 100s. Okay? In binary, a number like 110 zero or something something like that. Well these are again units ones these are twos these are fours and you can have eight sixteens thirty thirty twos etc. So each one is a factor of two larger. So a decimal is a factor of ten larger, binary a factor of two. So, for instance, this particular number here, well, it's got 1, 2 and 1, 4. So that there is the binary representation of the number 6. Because it's simply 1, 2 plus 1, 4, 6. So addition in binary works exactly the same as addition in decimal. Just that when we reach 2, we have to carry over. So, we'll start off with what well, we had 6, so that was 1, 1, 0. This is just an example. Plus, let's say, 3. Well, 3 is 0, 1, 2, and 1, 1. Well, we'll add those up. Well, we've got 1. We've got 2 here, so we'll put a 0, and we'll carry 1. 1 and 1, well, so 1, 0, oh, oh, 1. Okay? And 1, 0, oh, oh, 1, well, we've got 1 unit, no 2s, no 4s, but 1, 8. 
So it's 1 8 plus 1 1, and that is 9 in decimal. Now, there are some special numbers which only have a single 1 and everything else is 0. And these are all the powers of 2. So, we'll start off with 2 to the power of 0, which is just 1 on its own. That's the number 1. 2 to the power of 1 is 1, 0. That's 2 in decimal. 1, 0, 0 is 4. 8 is 1, 0, 0, 0, etc. Like that. So each one just a factor of 2 higher. 16, 32 etc. There we go. I've actually created versions of the cards with the same numbers on but with the numbers written in binary. So instead of this top card I've got this one here. Instead of this one you've got this one instead of that and there we go so as I said before these have exactly the same numbers on, but just written in binary form. So, you might, if you look very closely, be able to spot a pattern that links all of the numbers on the same card. What I'll do, I'll give you a few seconds. Um, if you're watching on a desktop and you've got annotations turned on, there'll be a short pause here just to see if you can recognise what the pattern is. So, pausing now. So, have you spotted the pattern? Well, if I replace this one with one like that, so you can see I've ringed the last digit and on the whole of that card, every last digit is a one. So on the second card, I've ringed the second digit, and you can see every single one is again a 1. The third card, same thing again, I've ringed the third digit from the right, and every single one is a 1. Fourth card, this time we have the fourth digit from the right, and again, it's all ones. Fifth card, it's the fifth digit from the right, the second digit from the left, it's all a one. And the last one, well, you can see that's all the ones that have a one in the leftmost column, the sixth from the right. Right, so coming back to our decimal number cards, when we say that a number is on this one, well, we know that it must have a 1 in the right-hand digit on the binary. This one, well, it must have a 1 in the second from the right. We know it has a 0 here, because 27 is not on this card. The fourth digit from the right, well, it's got a 1, because it's on this card. And the fifth digit from the right, well, that's also a 1, because we've got 27 here. And the last digit from the, from the right is a 0, because 27 isn't on this card. So we can actually write it down straight away. So, for instance, we've got 1, 1, and a 0, 
a 1, a 1, and a 0. So reading this way around, we've got 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Okay, so that is the binary representation of 27. So that is our 27, like that. But that is exactly the same as saying 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1 plus 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0 plus 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0 plus 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. And you can see, well, when we add it, all the ones, it's just one. That's a one, zero. That's a one, that's a one, and that's a zero. So you can see we get exactly the same just by adding together these particular ones here. This is fortunate since, if you remember from before, these ones with just the single one and all the other digits are zero are precisely one. 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, which are the numbers in the top left corner here. So when we construct this number, all we're really saying is, well, that's 1 plus 2 plus 8 plus 16, which gives us 27. Okay, so we're just adding in binary. And that is why this little trick works. Now you don't have to reveal that, you can play your friend and just say, I am reading your mind. So thanks for watching. Now if you didn't get your mystery calculator in your Christmas cracker this year, um, I'll put up an image of the cards with all the right numbers in, so you can pause the video and copy them down, and so you can read the mind of your friends too. So thanks for watching, hope to see you again soon.